all turned around because I'm not supposed to go this way. I'm supposed to go uh, to the left and kind of backtrack a bit, but I want to see what's up here as well. Looks like we have some fairly deadly enemies. Unless he eats them, then they're not so deadly. Uh, Tamarack Mountains and Gaponga Swamp. All right, so we're gonna kind of go a different way. We're not gonna go that way, although I could. We're gonna go this way, kind of the way that we were going before. Luckily, he does not get in the way when I want to uh, move. Like, I don't have to actually move him. I, he just kind of lets me clip through him, which is very nice. I appreciate that in a sidekick. Plus, he doesn't have uh, any problems jumping over things, which is also nice. I will head north here. All right, so we have been here before, right? Gaponga Swamp and the Mysterious Forest. All right, so let's... Let's deal with that nonsense, and we will see what we got here. Yes, this is Orira, the indigestible flowers of Gaponga Swamp. Those flowers are Bow Wow's favorite. Why don't you take him for a walk there? Click. All right, so that's one of the reasons that we needed uh, Bow Wow. And I got a guardian egg. I'm not sure if I even want to get these anymore, because I enjoy the music, and I feel like the soundtrack of this game has been the Guardian Acorn and Piece of Power music pretty much the entire time. All right, danger, keep out, except Bow Wow. Let's kind of move around here, see what we can find. All right, so these flowers, uh, they, I, I, I can't deal with them. See the problem? So, we kind of have to go as is. Now let's just go this way. Just ignore that. We'll head around eventually. All right, thank you. Oh, you got it? Okay. I was a little scared you weren't going to get it. But I can get 50 rupees out of there. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, so let's circle around. Have you eat that? Thank you. You kinda need Bow Wow for a lot of this. Now, I need you to eat one of these. Just any one, anytime you're ready. Anytime you're ready. Thank you. Apparently I had to move him a little bit closer. I mean, you could get more, but... All right, there we go. And into level two we go. Bottle Grotto. Bow Wow gets left behind. Let's head in. We'll see what level two has waiting for me here. We're gonna need to light this up. We need the magic powder for that. I don't necessarily like using that too much, but uh, it's required here, so. We'll just take it and move on. Let's head over here where we have upgrade Stalfos. We have one that pounds. If he chases you, even though he didn't really chase me that time. All right, take the key, use it. Head down here. Now, if my research me correctly, I have to be careful with him. All right, so I have to sneak behind him. Grab this and, or I could actually land the shot, you know? All right, so first time I have to use the charge attack. That's pretty much the trick to that guy. And then we can get the compass. Now you can see where the chests in Nightmare are hidden. Hooray. They have to tell me about the key noise every time though. So as you can see, there's quite a bit going on around here. And then we can head over here. And I don't think there's anything over here for me. There is not, but there is a key in that room. But for now, I head down here. All right, one, two. Then I can open this, get myself another key. Very nice. Let's head over to the right and 
There's a key in here. I can actually get that. Okay, so let's equip the feather, hop across, and then we'll hit this, hop across, get ourselves another small key, and then we can head up. I don't think like I can destroy these now. Not be able to destroy pots. What is this nightmare world? I know. I know it's heavy. All right, charge back in. Ha. There we go. Can I just go that way or do I have to go around? I think I have to go around. What am I doing? Went to the right when I did not mean to. There we go. Will that key wait for me? I think it will. We can head over here. And the key would wait for me. Well, it kind of respawned for me, but I need to go back and get that. Okay, I don't need to like reset this in any way, so let's just head this way. Head over to the right. See if there's anything waiting for me. Need the shield for this. There you go. Oh, Guardian Acorn. You know, you just see something drop and you just go and pick it up even though I'm not sure I necessarily want those. All right, so we got some keys waiting for me. No, I just wanted to swing the sword. Okay. Now, I don't think I can do anything in this room just yet, so we will leave. Guardian Acorn actually helped me out there because that thing nudged me. All right, back on the feather. Can't let those things nudge you. Gotta hit this again, so I can head up, back. Oh, I need to hit this one again. We will have to take on the Stalfos again. Yeah, that one chases you, like I thought. It, it's a like a seeking Stalfos. All right, so let's head over to the left here. Yeah, I can see just fine. that. Okay, so we need the magic powder again. One and two. We can head in here. All right, this is going to be a little bit of a problem because of this guy is in the way. Just hop up there. Away you go. And we found a stone beak. Let's find the owl statue that belongs to it. All right, and that stuff starts going away. Okay, I know what you guys are gonna do. Let's go around this way. Oh, I need to light this up again, don't I? Now let's, uh, what am I doing? That's the wrong one. Damn it. Oh well. Guardian Acorn again. Hooray! Let's put the shield back on. And we will talk to this one here. Part of the floor is raised. Tap the blue crystal. Thank you. Couldn't solve this without you. Don't I just have to be at the angle? Or I have to be at the proper angle. All right, look what's back. We have the magic here for my powder. More magic powder is now mine. Okay, let's bunch you guys up. That's not what I wanted to do. Don't care about this thing, okay. I'll charge back into him and kill him. Just makes life a little bit easier for me that way. 
Okay, I'm gonna need the shield again. Damn it. Yeah, I right, gotta just run into him. That'll do the trick, too. Alright, now we have this for him again. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. Alright, what do you have to say? Make every block design the same. A new path will open. So you move that into position there, that into position there, and that does reveal the way forward. Oh no. We're going to need to jump a platforming segment in a Zelda game. Pretty basic stuff though, if you've played platformers before. If you haven't, well, it's pretty basic stuff. All right, we have ourselves a one-way door here. Make sure you go away. And then we'll head through. For boss time! He's throwing bombs at me! And then he threw me! Just stay away. Let him throw his bombs. Get in for that one attack. Stay away from the corners. Oh, how did that hit me? No, he threw me again. All right, he did go down there. That was way too close, though. No, that's not what I wanted. Come on, get over here. All right, eventually I got the fairy. <laughs> eventually. Is this where I want to go? I still haven't gotten the map or anything yet. There's still there's still a lot of room to go through. That was just the mini boss. Got me scared though with mini bosses showing up like that. Didn't even see the keys. Hold on. And then once again, like if I'm pointed at a pot, we must investigate the pot. Right away you go. Not worth it right now. First defeat the imprisoned Pole's voice. Last Stalfos. Hmm. Words of wisdom, possibly. Hold on. 